Justice for D, of course, is a very personal cause to this tight-knit Lenawee County community. And now what started as sadness turned to frustration. And today, an announcement brought hope in the case that there could finally be justice for D. If you continue down the winding roads of Southeast Michigan, you'll eventually run into Adrian, the seat of Lenawee County. It's where impassioned community members gather this afternoon at the county courthouse to rally against a lack of movement in D. Warner's case. Justice for D. Among the community and frustrated family and friends of the missing mother and grandmother, Lenawee County Sheriff Troy Bevere. While Bevere is facing criticism, he came with news that has been long awaited. Last week on the 26th, I made an official request to Michigan State Police to become the lead agency. <laughs> Even though she welcomes this news with open arms, Catherine Adams, a friend of Dee Warner, says it shouldn't have taken this long. It's very bittersweet because um, we've been asking for it for a long time. So um, obviously it's, it's sweet in a sense that that's what we've been asking for, but it's a little bitter because it took so long. When pressed about the many concerns from residents right here in his community, Lenawee County Sheriff Troy Bevere couldn't get into detail, but says that this case is now in the hands of MSP. I'm sure you've been asked this millions of times about Detective Greca and concerns about any conflict of interest. So would you yeah, be able to speak about that? I, I'm not going to talk about that right now because like I said, the state police uh, have been involved in this from the beginning and um, any any conflict of interest the state police would, would have brought to my attention immediately. So, and what exactly is going to be their role in this investigation moving forward? They're, so I made the official request to turn the case over to the state police. and. Um, I have to hear back from them yet on whether or not they uh, will take the case over. And the family here, they want more from the sheriff's office. And I know when I spoke to you a few months back, you said a lot of resources are being used in this case, but they still feel that not enough attention is being given to it. And they yeah. note a and record a, of cases similar to this. And that's the tough thing when you're doing a lot of behind the, behind the scenes things. When you're analyzing a lot of information that comes in, that's not something that is usually out there in the in the public but it's stuff that has to be done unfortunately that's not something that you see at a rally like this it's something that somebody's doing behind a desk right now so and and like i said turning this over to the state police it's the right thing to do for the right reason right now and one thing that a lot of people here, they do believe that Dale Warner was somehow involved in this disappearance. So they're still wondering what is the evidence that was missing in this piece if... I'm not going to get into specifics of, of the case either, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And is there anything else you want to add about this? No. While it didn't appear to rally attendees that the Lenawee County Sheriff's Office could or even wanted to dive deeper into the case... We care. They did acknowledge people they see as doing the work. Private Detective Billy Little Jr. and former homicide detective Chris McDonough in particular. Little was recruited by Dee Warner's family to conduct his own investigation into the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. Since then, he has been able to speak with about 100 people and gather evidence that, according to family members, was laughed off by Sheriff's Office detectives. He and McDonough have hosted a series of live podcast conversations on his YouTube show in which they discuss the facts of the case based on the evidence he's gathered. We support law enforcement. We have their back 100%. But you also got to hold them accountable, right? That's the unpleasant part of the job. The end game here ultimately uh, is that law enforcement and the family go hand in hand through the doors of the courtroom and the justice is done for that uh, victim. And D is the victim here. Obviously, this investigation continues as it's in the hands of an office that has the resources to handle it. Now, I'll continue to follow this story as new developments come. But for now, reporting in Adrian, I'm Jaden Jefferson. Thank you.